Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hi guys. So today I'm coming on. I ordered a new um, sublimation blank and I want to share it with you. So I like to start opening stuff with you so you can see what stuff looks like when it comes in. And I ordered this off of Amazon. I'm going to give you the name of the company and I'll also put it in the description box here and so I got this on Amazon and the um, the vendor or the store that I got this from off of Amazon is old boss stop old boss top old boss top O, the letter O and then the word boss B O S S T O P and what it is, is puzzles. So sublimation blanks. So you guys can see that. <clears throat> and it comes with six puzzles. Um, each puzzle has its own bag with its backboard. So they're all separate. And then it gives you really good information here. It tells you how long to sub. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the plastic. Let me take it out. Um, so it has this little sheet here, which tells you how long to sublimate for. So it says to sublimate um, at three four between 340 and 360 for 20 to 60 seconds. So you be the judge. 340 to 360 for 20 to 60 seconds. Um, the good thing here is that they let you know how you can email them. I'm pretty sure if you have any issues to email them. And then they all also have a Facebook um, page. So you can go to their Facebook page and probably get some ideas on um, different things that you can do. Uh, and then here it has the application. It gives you the information on how to use the blanks. So it says the perfect home office wall decor. Okay. I didn't think about putting it on the wall, but I guess once you put the puzzle together, I mean, who's... Not many people except for kids are going to keep taking a puzzle apart and putting it back together. Um, so, uh, your unique, it's kind of hard to read this because of the color on here. Mm. Okay, so that's not really... The application is just telling you different ways that you can use it, but not the application as far as what to do here. So the only thing they're going to tell you really is sublimate temp and time. Okay, so we got that. The puzzles all come separate like this in their own little bag, like they say. You won't have any issues with which side to sublimate on because, you know, the puzzle side is here and then it's blank on that side. So... Um, that's cool. And like I said, you get six of them. Let me make sure I got all six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So six puzzles. These puzzles are, um, the dimension is 9.45 by 7.48. So you already know right there that in Cricut Design Space, 
you're not going to be able to print an image that large. So um, either you're going to have to go smaller or use a different software. So you won't be able to um, get that print out of Cricut Design Space because of the sizing. Um, but just to show you here, so this is a this is the size of a piece of paper about there, and so you can see how much smaller it is over the actual paper. Okay. All right, so we're going to give this a twirl, guys. I am going to, I wish it, let me see. I'm going to see if I can take it out without tearing up the bag because it would be good if you could just put it back in the bag when you're done. So I'm going to see if that's possible because that would be one way for you to keep the packaging. So... Yeah, there we go. So I was able to take it out without ripping up the packaging. So this is the piece of cardboard on the back. And Jinfada hyphen 001 is on the back. And then here's your puzzle. Put it up close so you guys can see that it truly is a puzzle. Um, let me see. It is 80 pieces. So this is an 80-piece puzzle. And uh, you don't... Do not take it apart or anything like that. Um, my internet just dropped, so hold on one second. You don't um, take it apart or anything. You will leave it just full like this. There's no plastic covering that I could tell that's over this, so there's nothing for you to pull off. Um, always watch out for that because sometimes you might have a plastic uh, piece of film over a sublimation blank that you have to remove first. And that hasn't been the case. So, so far, really good product. Um, I will tell you that um, I would try to be careful with it because it is kind of thin. It is kind of like on the thin side. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not a very thick like puzzle. Okay. So you don't want it to start coming apart before you can sublimate on it and then it's going to be ruined. So I have my image all ready to go um, that I'm going to be using. So hold on one second here. I'm going to go ahead and print that out. So I designed this image in Microsoft PowerPoint, so I didn't have to worry about the sizing. But what I am going to do is in Microsoft PowerPoint, I am going to attempt to um, hold on one second. Um, make it the same size as the puzzle puzzle piece so give me one second to change the sizing here so i'm going to say 9.45 and i think it was let me go back to my amazon 9.45 by 7.48 and then it's 0 0.79 inches thick so 0 0.79 inches, that must be the thickness. Um, but 7.48 is my um, width, 7.48. So I'm just going in Microsoft PowerPoint, and I'm trying to get this to where I can get the full thing on to my puzzle. And I want to have just a little bit of white going around it. So I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller than the measurement so that I can have the white around it um, of the puzzle. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and print it out now. So file here, print, current slide. Again, I'm in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using my Epson Workforce 7720 printer to do this um, print. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the paper type from plain paper to high quality. I'm going to go with um, high quality plain paper. That's normally what I use. I use A sub 8.5 by 11. 
So this is the paper that I use. I got this off Amazon. It was around about $18. I'll put this in the description for you as well. And um, I currently use Ink X Pro, but I am going to be testing out a new ink um, by a company called Hippo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I will be, stay tuned. I will do an unboxing for their ink and I will place it in my machine, show you how to do that for the first time. And then we'll print out another puzzle and we'll be able to compare Ink X Pro against Hippo and see which one works best. I will tell you that product is a lot less cost effective than Ink X Pro. So I am excited to see the quality of it. So I'm going to be excited. So I'm not using Hippo right now. I'm using Ink X Pro. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and print this out. Let me make sure I got everything on here correctly. And I do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. Now, when you print out on sublimation paper for the first time, when you're new to sublimation, I do want you to know that it prints kind of like a dull look. You don't get the vibrant colors until you do the sublimation. That means placing the heat on it. <clears throat> all right so this is my image that i'm going to be sublimating and um i haven't used my epsom work for 7720 i have not used it I don't know, in about a week or so, it may have been longer because I haven't sublimated anything. Um, I'm trying to think of when the last time I used it, but I think it's still the quality of the print still came out really, really good. Um, some people say that you have to sublimate every day, and that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, I don't want to have to sublimate every day because they say your drink will, um, your ink, your drink, your ink will dry out. But I haven't found that to be the case. And it could be the quality of ink. Again, it's Ink X Pro, which I've had no qualms with using. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Because you know it is too big for my puzzle as far as the full sheet of paper. And this is just to help, you know, make it easier for me to apply it to the smaller puzzle. So we're going to see what happens. So I'm probably not going to shave that bottom. I'm going to let the bottom stay. So they give you the cardboard backing, guys. They give you this piece of cardboard on the back. I would say keep that cardboard intact with it because, like I said, this is thin. And so you don't want it to start shifting apart or pulling apart. And let me see what I got. Okay, yeah. So the whole thing will fit on here. And remember I said I want a little bit of white from the puzzle, kind of like a border. Let me see if I'm going to be able to accomplish that goal. Okay, so I got a little bit of white there. I'm going to bring it over. And then I'm going to use heat tape to put this in position. When you sublimate, it goes face down, guys. For those that are new or thinking about, about sublimation, you sublimate with it face down. And then I'm going to use some heat tape to put it in place. I'm just trying to make sure my 2021 is on there. And it is. Okay. So let me get my heat tape here because I don't want to. I want to be extra careful with this because I want it to come out really nicely. All right. So, drop the scissors. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to sublimate this. I'm probably, it said between 340 and 360, I think it was. Let me just double check again. <sighs> Um, forgot I had the paper 340 to 360 for 20 to 60 seconds. 
Um, what I'm going to do is the way I'm going to place this on my puzzle, I'm going to place it so that if I lift it up and it's not dark enough, I can put the heat press back down on it and you'll get a chance to see that process too because I'm going to film that part as well. But let me get, I'm using heat tape that I ordered off of Amazon. It came with, this came in a bundle. So it was three pieces of, three pieces, three rolls of the heat tape. And then it was uh, three Teflon sheets. So um, there is a video on Amazon for this site, Oh Boss Top. These scissors like me through it. All the scissors I got, and I never, I never have a good pair of scissors right here by me. I'm gonna have to do better. All right, so I am going to hold on one second. Can't find my good scissors. I wanted my cricket scissors. I normally keep them right here by me, but apparently didn't hold on. Okay. We will go with these little babies right here and then I'll have to locate my cricket scissors I'm trying to make sure I got this where it doesn't look one sided I want to make sure it looks even with the thickness of the border okay that's good it's just the first try so I'm going to put a piece of, I'm going to put the heat tape on and then I'll hold it up to show you. All right, so this is how I have it on there. And I tried to leave just a little bit of white space around there, but not compromising my 2021 that's on the bottom here. So I want to make sure that my 2021 is on there and then it will look like white space on the bottom. So I think I'm good to go, guys. Um, again, I'm putting it on like this with the heat tape at the top so that I'll be able to just lift it up. And if it doesn't look like, you know, 40 seconds was enough, then I can lay it down for the additional time frame. Um, but I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do the 340 no, I'm probably going to do 360. I'm going to do 360 for 60 seconds. I'm just going to see what happens. Stranger things have happened. I'm going to do 360 for 60 seconds. Okay. All right. So let's go to the heat press. All right, guys. So we have our puzzle. And it is on the heat press. I'm going to add a Teflon sheet here to cover it. Okay. And again, I'm going to be pressing at 360. As you can see here, I have it set at 360. I'm going to be pressing it at 360 for 60 seconds. So I'm going to change the pressure on here. A little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and let this down 
sorry about that, in 60 seconds. So I am in the process of deciding what new heat press I want to buy. And I'll just use this one for smaller things. But I think I'm going to go with the, I think it's like a 16 by 20. <clears throat> so we will see what happens here. But we're doing 360 for 60 seconds. 21 seconds to go. All right. And we're done. So one second here. Had to kind of put it down <laughs> so I could pick the cam. I mean, uh, cut the heat press, lift the heat press up, heat press up. All right. So here we have our Teflon sheet. And one of the ways you can tell that your image has transferred really good or should have transferred really good is you can start to see the image through the paper. So you guys can see the image on the back now. So let's lift this up and see what we got. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. It turned out perfectly. So I did it at 360 for 60 seconds and I had it on medium pressure. So let me let you guys get in there. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And I did the design in Microsoft PowerPoint. All right. So I will post um, all the information in the description of what I used to do this. Um, this design I got off of Pixabay. Um, it was one of their free images and, uh, I will list again all the information in the description, but it turned out beautiful. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and reference to, um, this, then please reach out and let me know. And... I will be more than happy. Oh, I thought my camera stopped. I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. Um, and if you're currently in my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for being in my Facebook group. And if you would like to join my group, then please send me a request to my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. And if you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if not, then um, please, if you like the way or my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And I appreciate all of you guys. I truly do. And I think that the puzzle turned out absolutely amazing. Would I recommend this product? Highly, highly recommend this product. All right, guys, you know my motto, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a blessed day. Bye.